Good to see you, Hunter. We are playing the Hunter Classic, and today you are witnessing a field test of the new inline muzzle loading pistol against Water Buffalo. Well, surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? I'm not really a fan of muzzle loading weapons because usually they take a long time to load. We have two rifles, if you will, that take their time. But with this pistol, I was surprised it doesn't really take that long. Everything is fairly quickly. Maybe because this pole is only half the size, it's a lot shorter. So it's quicker. Now, nah, I don't know, but this is really quick. So this is not annoying. This is pretty good. Now, when it comes to the permitted uh, list of animals for this weapon, I was quite surprised to see it's the same list that the 454 has. And you might have seen my field test where I tested the 454 against Water Buffalo. And it's really, really hard to get a long shot, even from close. So let's see how this muzzle loading pistol does uh, on the Water Buffalo. Earlier today, I've already shot a band tank from fairly close and it got a double long shot from the side. So I thought that was pretty good. Now, why was I surprised to see the list of permitted animals? To me, muzzle-loading weapons are ancient weapons, but that is not really true. It might be true for the 50 cal uh, rifle, but the inline muzzle-loader, as well as this inline muzzle-loading pistol, those are modern weapons. They are high-performing, proper weapons, and so we would expect they would perform uh, for the species that they are permitted for. So I'm running around here looking for tracks for a water buffalo or a call or even a sighting. They don't move. I can just run up to them. Water buffalo calling straight ahead. I'm going to run up to it right over that hill. And then we'll see how this pistol performs. Where are you, kitty, kitty, kitty? Not going to work on cows. There it is. It's a male. Pretty good size. <laughs> and if you're not fast enough, all right, get me that pistol. And like I expected from the front, pretty difficult. Did I even make a blood spot? Oh, intestines, that is interesting. I got the intestines, that means this water buffalo is likely going to die. Now I said uh, it's likely going to die because intestine shot used to lead to death within a foreseeable time. At least that was an unwritten rule. Uh, but something has creeped in and I've had intestine shots with, where the animal never died. And believe it or not, recently I even had a long shot on a wolf with the 6.5 Panther. The wolf never died. So something has creeped in here. Let's check out if this water buffalo is going to die or we might require a second shot. Still bleeding, health still going down. That is a good sign. That is what we would expect. And we're still going. Buffalo still alive. It's quite a heavy guy. Goes up to 1200, which I believe is the maximum weight. I'm going to do a second shot because otherwise it's going to take too long.
and we saw the water buffalo collapse behind the smoke. That looks good. Here we go. Let's see what we hit with the two shots. First shot, head, skull and stomach. So at least the shot went through the skull into the stomach. Somehow I missed everything else. And then the second shot was a hard shot from 55 meters. And the score is a whopping 222. That's great. So I thought that was pretty good. The shot went through the skull into the stomach. And the second shot from 55 meters, I hit the heart and the lungs. I thought that was pretty good, but that's not quite the test I wanted to do. Usually you would not run up to it and then let it plow over you and then do some uh, close battle. You would uh, shoot it maybe from a bit further away from the side. This is what I want to do. We've had the uh, heart and lung shot here already, but still I want to do a proper shot from the side, maybe from the same distance. Only one shot should kill the buffalo. Let's see how that goes. Water buffalo cow. Why don't you stay there? This is a good distance. Ah, uh, she's coming my way. There you go. I had to turn down the sound. It's really loud when it's raining this hard. So, what did we hit here? That is a long shot. Although really close. All right, here it is. We have shot it down by the riverside, which is about 200 meters away. You can still see the river on the hunter mate. Here it is with the long shot. Still alive. Not sure how much longer it's going to live. But this is certainly already better than the 454 where we shot them from the side and just couldn't barely get through anything. Now, of course, what could have happened is that they have toned down the buffalo armor. It was just a little bit too much and they're now a bit weaker. We never know. We never get to hear this. Uh, but this water buffalo is down. A single long shot from 24 meters. This is what we would expect for a weapon that is ethical for this species. All right, so here is a male. Pretty heavy average score. And I have 60 meters in mind. But uh, actually the uh, long and hard shot before was 55 meters. Let's try a bit of a longer shot here. Not that this is super long, but about 65 meters. All right, let's go see. I think I'll be pretty happy if I can get the lungs from here because this is a heavy animal. Even some rifles would have issues. This is going to be the ultimate test. I'm not going to do anything closer, anything different. I want to try this uh, distance here and see what it does. And then we know a bit more. And it ends up being a body shot. Is it still bleeding even? So this is fleeing already. Okay, so this buffalo is certainly not going to die from this. Might have been a bad shot, but I think that might be okay. I wonder if the muzzle of the rifle um, would deal with this from this distance. Still a heavy big animal. We did have a long and hard shot from 55 meters. And um, if I was able to hit the heart from here, it might penetrate. I don't know. But the lungs, it did not. So this concludes this little field test here with the new inline muzzle loading. Um, pistol here yeah we can take the time to load it's really quick so this buffalo may live forever i'm not gonna follow it wow running after these cows here in the heat was really tiring i need to cool off a little bit i'm gonna take a bath here i hope you enjoyed this little video thank you very much stay in touch